Hello, my name is Jay Wilson from Onyx Reporting. And in this webinar, I'm going to show you really quickly how you can use Jet Essentials and the scheduling tool. Now, for those of you who are using Jet Express, remember Jet Express is a free version of the Jet Reports Excel add-on. Jet Express does not come with the scheduling tool, but actually this is one of the reasons why a lot of our users upgrade to the full version, Jet Essentials, because um, natively within NAV, and a lot of your ERP systems, there is no scheduling tool for running reports. So again, a lot of our customers really find value in having a tool that can allow me to schedule a report to run nightly, weekly, monthly, or what have you. Um, my name is Jay Wilson. You can always reach me at jae at onyxreporting.com if at the end of this webinar you have any other questions. So just real quick, like I'm just going to push the report button so we can see what this report does. When I run this report, it has the option of saying, okay, what date do you want to report, run this report on? How many periods do you want? And instead of showing a quarterly report, theoretically I could change this to show, let's say, um, monthly intervals. Okay. What I'm going to do, though, is I want this report to run, um, and I want it to run once a month, on the, well, twice a month, on the 1st and the 15th of the month and I want it to run on monthly intervals, and I also want this report to run every week on Monday and run for the last eight weeks. But I don't want to create two copies of the same file because that just seems like a lot of maintenance. So what I'm going to do is, one, I need to schedule the report, but before I do that, I need to create named ranges for the filter values that I want to change based off of the scheduled task. That sounds like a lot of words, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, this value says what day to run the report for. I'm going to call it date filter. So instead of referring to C3 from now on, we can just call it date filter. And similarly, instead of having number of periods, or sorry, instead of calling it C4, we'll call it number periods. I'm creating named ranges. Okay. Under formulas in the named manager, once you've completed this step, you should be able to see all of your different named ranges. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save this file and open up the scheduler. So here's the scheduler. Remember, the scheduler sits on top of Windows Task Scheduler technology. Windows Task Scheduler is that tool that does your antivirus, uh, defrags your computer, checks for updates, that sort of thing. I'm going to create a new task here, and this setup is going to be for the monthly sales report. I'm going to put in the name of my um, report. Okay, so I've put in the location of the report, and then I've put in the output. This is the name of the new file that I'm going to create, sales monthly. Now I'll go ahead and click on Schedule. When I click on Schedule, notice it says it's loading named ranges. It's searching the, the, the document and saying, are there any named ranges, like date filter or period type? All right. Um, I'm going to set this report to run monthly. And as I said, I wanted this report to run on the 1st and 15th of each month. Now, because I had named ranges, um, I have an options dialog. And I can say, okay, what filter criteria do you want this report to run for? So I'll put in today because I want this report to always run for today's date. This is my monthly report. I want it to run for the past, I don't know, eight months. I have a rolling eight-month report. And then if I wanted to, I could set, okay, who does this report email to? If I had email addresses stored within my ERP, I could theoretically load a named range. Just like I have named ranges in column C of my report, I could have a named range that says email address. I could load emails. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then lastly here under output, 
Under output, we have two options that are of interest to us. I can choose to output the report as a JET workbook or a values-only workbook. Now, if I export the report as a JET workbook, it will create a copy of the file, and any future user can go to that report, and it's still a JET report. They can push the report or the refresh button to get the most recent information out of your ERP. And now if I change the option to values only workbook, what this will do is when I run the report, the last thing it does is it strips out all the JET functionality. It replaces all the JET functions and effectively does a copy paste as values only work, um, yeah, as values only. So there will no longer be any JET functions. You will not be able to run the report or refresh the report you will have a static spreadsheet. Okay, um, the logging option allows us to um, troubleshoot um, logging, sorry, troubleshoot the task if something goes wrong for whatever reason. Okay, I'm going to schedule this report. Right. And now I have my first scheduled task. I could go ahead and create a new task, and this time I'm actually going to do the exact same setup, only this time I'll use a different set of options parameters. All right. So notice here, I'm using the exact same file, but this time under output I've given it a different name. I'm going to output it as weekly sales. And again, I have to load named ranges. And I'll set my schedule. I want my report to run every week on Monday morning. Now under options, um, I want it to run for the past week. So instead of telling my report to run for today's date, I'm going to tell it to run for today minus three. And again, I'll set it to run for, uh, let's say four, um, four weeks, and I'll set my period type to week. Again, under the output tab, I'll set it as values only workbook, and I'll choose to remove hidden rows, columns, and sheets. You have to be careful with remove hidden rows, columns, and sheets, because what it does is, when it runs the report, it will literally delete every column and every row that is hidden. And yes, I could create a log file, but I will just go ahead and schedule this report so we can wrap this up. Maybe if I put my password correctly. Okay, you can now see I have two scheduled tasks, but what is a little bit different is that because we chose to use named ranges, date filter, num period, period type, because we use named ranges, I can use the same file to run the report, but each report will have a different set of filter criteria. You might have this value, you might find this valuable if you have a report that you need to run for multiple users and each user should only have access to a certain set of data. So maybe I'll set different filter criteria for each user and have multiple tasks in my report. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jay Wilson. You can always, always reach me at jae at onyxreporting.com or just visit my website, onyxreporting.com. Thank you so much. Cheers.